Hey folks, this is Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking and today I want to do a product review for you on the uh, M19 Crank Brothers Multi-Tool. Now before I get into any details, I want to let you know that I did purchase this with my own money. Okay, this was not provided to me for free, so all of the comments that you hear from this point on will be completely my own. No one's reviewing this video before it's being posted and I'm not being compensated in any way, okay? So bottom line is I bought it and I wanna review it. And there you go. Let me explain to you why I decided to go with a new multi-tool. I've been rocking this Topeak MacGyver for what seems like forever. And I don't have any complaints with this product, okay? It's a good product. The only thing that happened to it was that, um, maybe it happened to you guys as well, um, there's a little section over here, right here. I don't know if you can see this, but this plastic part broke off. This would normally lock in, and this would lock over and hold the two pieces together. Okay, honestly, it's, it's a great product, and it's got a ridiculous amount of stuff on it. I mean, it's got all the, all the different keys and all the different little stuff. I mean, this isn't a review on, on this product. I don't even know if you can even buy this thing anymore. I've been looking, I don't think you can. At some point, you kind of got to wonder, do you really need all this stuff? This is not a, a light, light uh, device, multi-tool. And um, it's got like, it's got stuff on here that I'm just, I'm just really never going to use. I don't need, you know, I don't need a tweezer and I don't need a nail file or a little picker thing. Um, now, of course, now that I said that next time I'm going to be on the trail, I'm going to have a splinter and I'm going to need to clean my nails. Anyway, you see where I'm going with this. I don't need all this stuff. and I'm trying to cut down some of the weight in my, uh, in my backpack, and, and this, this puppy's heavy. I went and got the, um, the M19 because I wanted to give something else a try. I've used Crank Brothers a lot for their pedals. Uh, I feel they make really good products. So I figured, why not? Let's give the uh, multi-tool a try. And I just thought, let's, let's try something different. All right, so what do you get in this little package? Um, two items. You get the, the multi-tool itself, and you get this, this nice little um, aluminum case, okay? So you get this aluminum case, it, 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 you know, it, it kind of slides out of here, and then the multi-tool fits inside the aluminum case. The way it, the way it works is you, um, you can pop out, okay, you can pop out the, the top of this thing and then you put the multi-tool in here. I'll, I'll do that in a minute. All right, now that we have the multi-tool out of the package, first things first, let's just put it inside of this case and see how this works, okay? I mean, that, that's kind of cool, right? Um, this slides right inside of here and you can put the top on like this. Now, one thing I want to check here real quick though, you put it in there. All right, that's what I wanted to check. I was a little worried about that, you see? No rattle. When I first put it in here, this is a little bit of a pain, but yeah, it, I, I wasn't sure if it was gonna, see, that would suck if I had to listen to that all day riding my bike, right? That's not any fun. But this, um, this cap locks the product inside. Come on, baby. All right, and no rattle. Now I think, I mean, I'm having a bit of a pain getting this thing on and off. Actually, I think, you know, if, if you squeeze if you, if you squeeze this, all right, it opens up a little bit easier. Okay, so that's good. Doesn't doesn't rattle or anything like that. I like that. So nice case. Um, so cool. Comes with a case. All right, good. Yay, we got a case. So now let's take a look at the components inside this puppy. You've got a number of different keys. You've got your eight millimeter, six millimeter. Five, four, three, and I'm assuming this is going to be a two. Okay. All right. On the on the other side, on the other side over here, you've got a bunch of other stuff. Let's see what we got. Okay. You've got another key here. I'm not sure the size of it. Okay. You've got your other key here. You've got your Torx. All right. I'm pretty sure these Torx are going to be the ones that are going to be used for your disc brakes. I'll double check on that. You've got your Phillips, small Phillips. All right, can you see that? Small Phillips, flathead, larger Phillips, and another Torx. 
all right you know pretty much what you're going to want to use out in the trail um now compared to my macgyver all right there's no scissors there's no saw uh, no tweezers no nail picker okay there's a ton of stuff this doesn't have but it's a multi-tool for a bike and that's really all i wanted um I'll, i'm going to give this a try real quick and uh, in fact let me let me go check real quick on these torques and i'll check them on on the on the bike Okay, I just checked, all right, and this is the Torx that does the, um, this is the right torque size for your disc, uh, for the discs, okay? So, um, so that's cool, um, good to have with you. Uh, you also have your, um, your chain breaker over here, okay? So you got your chain tool, you, uh, you loosen it up, all right? You're gonna put your chain in here, all right? You can loosen that up like that. You put your chain in there, and you're good to go. Now. I checked, this is not marketed as an 11 speed from what I read on the site, okay? So if I'm wrong, uh, look, Crank Brothers, you tell me if I'm wrong. I don't wanna misinform anybody. But I did read on Amazon some of the comments, and I think it was even Crank Brothers that, that answered this. Again, don't quote me, I'm just telling you what I'm, what I'm reading. And they had said that it will fit an 11 speed chain. That was the big reason why I did end up buying this thing, or actually why I was on the fence and why I might not buy it, because I wasn't sure if it was gonna work on an 11-speed. Leave some comments down below if you've used this on an 11-speed chain. I'd be, I'd be curious just to know for, for a fact. Uh, I'll run it on my, on my Remedy back there. That's an 11-speed chain. I'll give it a true test, and I can always comment in the notes. But regardless, I'd like to know your experience with this, if you have one. Here's something I didn't actually realize when I first looked at this. You can take the chain breaker thumb part off and notice the, the two, the three, the zero and the one. This is actually a spoke um, tightening tool. So you can take this little puppy and you can put it right on your spokes and, um, and tighten your spokes. Okay, these are a two, and then you can go and you can adjust your spokes. Didn't even realize that when I first did this, so that's pretty cool. You've also got a spoke, a spoke, um, a spoke wrench. Um, it's nice. You know what? It's just it's it's clean. It's simple. It looks real nice. It's got what I it has what I need on it. All right. You know it packs up nicely in here. Nice, good, tight fit. Okay, I think I might have to loosen these up a little bit because it is a bit of a pain to move these things around a little bit but that's that's up to me I, I, I can do that it's got the uh, the uh, the allen key bolts on either side that I can adjust it so this is going to be my uh, my new multi-tool I'm definitely glad I picked it up I'll put this back in its case All right the slides okay so that's something to note you got to make sure you put everything well back but perfectly back to make it fit back inside the case all right I don't think that's much to ask but just note that it's not gonna fit in unless everything's lined up nicely. And now it is, okay? So line it all up, it fits in there. This is a nice product, okay? If you're looking for one with all the different features and all the different things, uh, this one's not gonna be for you. It doesn't have, like I said, the scissors, the saws, uh, you know, all the rest of that. It doesn't have that. Um, I, don't, I don't want all that. I have that in the MacGyver, which I think is also a very good tool. And maybe I'll try to review the, the new ones from Topeak that, that replaced the MacGyver. So this is the, one more time, this was the, uh, the Crank Brothers M19 uh, multi-tool. They have different versions of this, okay? I'll put some links for other versions that they have available if, you, if you're interested in it. I, uh, I like it, okay? I like it a lot. I'll definitely feel a lot better having this in my bag. Gene from Angle the Guy Mountain Biking. Hope you like this product review. What did I just drop? Oh, nothing. Just a little, uh, just a little, whatever. This is the Crank Brothers M19 Multi Tool. Thanks for watching. Leave me some comments. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the Regular Guy Mountain Biking channel. And that's it, my friends. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.